Hello and welcome. It's time for a kit review. Sit back and relax. Today's kit is from Ravel of Germany. It is the Neoplan City Liner Luxury Bus. This is a bus that's used in many countries around the world, including the United States. There was a Neoplan of America, but uh, this one is one that you'll see more like in uh, Europe, uh, Africa, Asia, or even Russia. The scale of this is 124th, making this a very large bus in the 124th community. Uh, it would be the size of almost two, f two feet. If you're familiar with Ravel in the United States, or perhaps Monogram, this is a little bit different. This is the same company, Ravel, but this is a subsidiary that is actually uh, headquartered in Germany, just like there are different Ford headquarters around the world, Australia, Europe. This is uh, Ravel of Germany, and they specialize in very unusual subjects. So this is right up their alley with uh, being a city bus, uh, very large scale, like I said, two feet long when it's uh, built, roughly 21, 22 inches, I believe the uh, source material said. As you can see, a bus usually has lots of seats, and this does. This has quite a few seats. Uh, this is a luxury bus, and so these look like they're very high quality seats, possibly leather, or maybe a uh, twill that uh, is reinforced for long distance traveling. The uh, detail on this is very nice. It's almost like uh, first class seating in, on an airplane. Uh, you can see the detail here. Very nice sharp lines, uh, very crisp detail and uh, lots and lots of seats and lots of decals to go with them. This panel is the rear of the bus, has the area where the glass goes, the roof section, and the spot for the taillights and the bumper. The roof panel for the bus has spots for fans for the AC mechanism. Uh, it also has access panels. I don't know if they're uh, windows yet. We haven't gotten that far into the build yet. So, and then there's interior parts. The seating, uh, that's the interior of the roof. So it goes right underneath the, uh, the upper panel. And it looks like it has the upper panel for the front section. You have the front bumper. Those are the fans for the AC unit. Front fascia. Next, we have the parts for the interior and the passenger compartment. These are parts of the ceiling. I looked over the instructions briefly, and I believe these are the upper compartments for uh, storage in the passenger compartment, like, a, uh, like you'd find on a plane where you put your overhead luggage. Here are your two doors for the vehicle. There's a front door with a window and then a rearward door that is just ahead of the rear axle that does not have a window but it does have access to the bus and that's also where they put the uh, the toilet these two pieces right here make up the lower surface of the bus the superstructure the part where they have uh, lower cargo storage as well as where the engine sits near the rear of the bus This is the clear sprue that contains the forward and rear glass, the headlight and taillight lenses, 
where it's fogged, you can paint from behind to give it a opaque appearance so you can't see through. The part that's completely clear, you can also tint with a uh, colored tint, smoke, blue, red, or you can leave it clear. It is completely up to you. Of course, it's easier to see without the protective plastic over it. The front panel, it doesn't have the rear panel on this one. It does have the side panel where the driver sits and you can paint it where the shaded part is behind it. So it's completely opaque. And then the clear part for the door. Again, these are the pieces for the undercarriage. This is where the engine goes, the luggage goes. There will be a piece that goes over this where the seats go on top and that's where they connect. We have a chrome sprue that has the headlight and taillight buckets and some various other pieces. I'm used to 124 scale model cars and everything here seems cartoonishly oversized, but um, buses have large tires and have large parts in comparison with a car. You could probably fit four or five Honda Civics in the footprint of a bus. These are the pieces that go over the undercarriage. This will cover over the luggage compartment and will form the basis of the structure that holds the passenger compartment. And you can see the pass through for the uh, side door and the front door. There's a side door pass through on the uh, passenger part and then the front part where you would just walk in and walk out as I will demonstrate right now. Sometimes when you're pulling pieces out of a box, you'll pull one out that's oriented in the direction it's not supposed to be. I pulled this out upside down and at first thought it might be for TV for passengers to view. And then I realized it was the steps leading to the front of the bus. I really appreciate our handy model. The rearmost seats have five across instead of two on each side. And you'll find them on the sprue, as well as the driver's seat. The steps for the side that are forward to the rear axle and the instrument cluster. Now, again, looking at these pieces, these are comically oversized, but uh, they are the right scale for 124th scale. They are the right size. They're just, everything's upscaled on a bus to be durable, to be long lasting, and to be used by people, whether it be passengers, drivers, maintenance personnel. Buses are meant to last and we appreciate those that are in those industry. Thank you very much for your time and service. More pieces for the front of the bus, as well as the entry to the side, handles, cabinets, this is the engine. The engine is actually provided by MON, which is a European tractor trailer company in Europe. And MON makes the engines for the city liner for Neoplan, as well as the uh, rims, other engine parts. Easy peasy assembly. And now the sides of the bus. As you can see, this is a pretty Pretty large, pretty substantial kit. Very excited to build this. There's the driver's side. You can see the uh, panel lines for the luggage compartments. All the way to the back where the engine sits. There's curtains that are molded into the side. And the parts for the glass. These are tinted parts that uh, you'll see later. On the right side of the bus, there's the cutout for the door. And then the rearward door. And 
more panel lines for luggage and engine access. This is my original unboxing and when I first picked up the instructions I didn't realize that all the pages weren't seated correctly. So you'll see me flipping through this. Like this is one book and then pick up another one like this is the second book. It's it's a very big book for instructions. This is this is quite quite the manual. At two feet long, this is a large vehicle and it can seem a little intimidating, but going over the instructions, you can see that uh, even though there's a lot of pieces, they have very clean fit. They go together very quickly. There's a lot of seats, which take up a lot of your pieces as well as the interior parts that make up the panels. And here I am heroically showing off the second book that at the time I didn't realize was part of the original book. It's just one big manual. One of my favorite parts of any unboxing or any build for that matter is the decal sheet. And this does not disappoint. This is glory to behold you have all of the seat trim which looks like wood so at first i thought this was the back of the seat no that's the front of the seat so it's some kind of fabric some leather or something but it doesn't look like that to me there's the uh, more interior pieces european plates markings for the bus and the plates your exterior livery more seat decals because of course there are more seat decals. This is a bus. Here's part of your instrument panels. You can see the speedometer up at the top. I like the passenger seatbelt signs. Here's your vehicle emblems for the rear. This is passenger seatbelt signs. Markings for the exterior of the bus, plates, very, very good decal sheet. And now it's time for my final thoughts. And here they are. Thumbs up. No, seriously. Um, this is a really cool kit. Um, Revell of Germany has very high quality. They have very unique subjects that you usually don't find in other, from other makes. And they're always, they're always a, a fun kit to build. Um, sometimes they could have tricky assembly, but no more than anybody else. Um, this is something I'm looking forward to building. I don't think it's going to be too many problems putting this together. Um, one thing I like to say I get, I get made fun of is, is that there's very little flash. There is very little flash on this kit. The pieces make sense. They're logical. Uh, the tinted windows are something that you're going to find on modern buses do not have um, anything less than limo tint on the rear glass. So that's why you have these dark pieces for the overhead parts, for the side parts. That's your typical fare. But overall, this, this looks like a fun kit. And this leads me to my big news of the channel. This will be a completely custom build with its own decal sheet. Hopefully I'll be able to have that ordered very soon. I hope to have someone working with me closely on this to get it right. And I'm looking to have this finished probably closer to November. In the meantime, I do have a lot of ambitious projects in the works. Uh, there's going to be one that I'm going to be starting over the next couple weeks. And I'm going to segment a lot of these episodes out into parts one and two and three, 15 to 25 minutes each. But I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on this kit. What would you do with this? Would you customize it? Would you build it straight out of the box? Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And in the meantime, you can follow me here. You can also follow me on my Facebook or Instagram. That will also be in the description. And thank you so much. Have a great day.